morning everybody got a nice rainy day here today but luckily we got one with a roof on it a little garage so at least we can get something done today got 10 and a half yard 3500 pound mix a couple bags of cow in it there's no more hot water so concrete's not setting up very good for us lately pretty close to home today this is only a 10 minute ride for us today Yeah, it's what they want. Four inch floor, which is two inches from back to front. No poly. We got fiber mesh in the mix today. I told you rubber got. No splatters. No splatters. All right, we're gonna hook our shoot on. Take a look, we're gonna hook our shoot. Let's take a look. I didn't go real wet because I didn't want it flowing out early, premature, and all that. So, it's about a four. a blast. Leave it unlocked.
Go easy. Darren, can you can you stand where you can see you, please? Good. Oh, oh! Can you pull him ahead in a second? Good. Oh, guys. Oh, I like burn on that one. Oh, dizzy. You're going to be his best man. They're going to line all the trash trucks up with the wedding and walk down between them. 
everybody so what I'm doing right now is I'm tapering the concrete right where the garage door is gonna sit down so when they install the garage door they install it right on the inside of that 2x6 wall you see over there so it's when the door sits down it's gonna sit right at the beginning of this taper that way if it rains and the rain hits the outside of the garage door the water runs down the door and then just runs out this taper instead of getting underneath the door and running into the garage so this is I mean, there's a, a bunch of different ways to do this. This is how we normally do it. We just cut it in by hand like this. And we've always had really good luck with it. As you can see, I dug out about a half inch right up next to the board. And then I'm just using my mag float to, to kind of cut out a little bit more and taper it right to the inside of that concrete wall, that eight inch concrete wall. That's typically right where the door sits down right there. So this keeps any water from getting in under the door and like I said running back into the garage now the good thing about our garage floors like this is like I said earlier in the video it we taper them two inches from the back to the front so the the concrete floor kind of tapers towards the front anyway so the water tends to run towards the front of the garage even if it drips off the car but this this little part right here sits outside the garage door so you know, if you get a hard driving rainstorm, you don't want the water to run back in under the door. And now I'm just going to put a little edge on it. This is just the beginning phases of finishing this right here. I, you know, we like to cut this in before the concrete sets up too much and gets too firm. And then as the concrete gets a little more firmer later on, while I'm power troweling, you know, we'll mag it and trowel it and then put a nice little broom finish on it. And we'll have this curved edge on it. The curved, the curved edge just helps make that curved part a little bit stronger, so it doesn't want to chip or flake. Now here I am. This is probably a couple hours after we got done pouring. I'm I'm getting ready to power trowel this, so I back the truck up, take the power trowel out of the back of the truck using our little truck crane, and then I can lower it right on the floor. This makes it real easy for one guy to finish concrete floors all by himself. Otherwise, you know, trying to kick, trying to pick that thing up out of there by yourself and set it on the floor, you're just begging for a back problem. Trust me, that's how we used to do it before we had these cranes. So you can see I'm just sinking in maybe about an eighth of an inch as I'm stepping on it here. Now this this means you're just about ready 
it's just about ready for power trial and I go around I mag my edges and then I'm floating it for the first time actually you know if, if it's because it's a rainy day this stuff isn't setting up that good I, I probably could have given it another half an hour honestly before I hit it this first time and now I'm finishing up a little bit more around the doors as the concrete firms up they're not ready to broom yet but they're they're ready to just go over for a second time with the mag float shape them up make sure everything looks nice and nice and uh, a straight I like a nice straight tapered line across the inside of that block uh, concrete wall so I let the concrete sit probably an hour before I hit it again here the second time and it's it's actually probably just about right I probably could have let it sit that long before I hit it the first time to be quite honest with you um, just because it's so chilly today and there's a lot of moisture in the air so after I hit it that second time now the doorways are firmed up enough so I can get the finish on it and it's still raining out luckily there was a pretty good overhang here and they had some gutters on so it wasn't dripping too hard right in front of the door so I get it mag floated out again I steel trowel it real quick and then I run the broom right over it like that we just we like to leave our garage doors that little tapered area right there with just a broomed finish on it and then that's done I don't have to worry about finishing that again as I continue to power trial I'll just I'll hand trial in front of it but I won't have to finish the tapered edge anymore and then I just continue power trial I mean I, it took five different hits on this before I was done I had it smooth enough where I wanted to leave it we usually leave our garages pretty smooth unless someone tells us to leave them fuzzy but this is the basic finishing process that MBW power trial works really really good for finishing you can see this is the fourth hit here it's getting really smooth now I did let it sit another hour then I hit it again then we saw cut our control our contraction joints we put one down the middle each way on this and then I I hooked it back up with a crane and we was done but that's that's the pour and finish on this guys thanks again for watching if you haven't subscribed yet please hit that subscribe button take a look at this video right here that's popping up on the screen and come on back we'll see you on the next one